console gamers get ready today we're continuing you guys thought i'm gonna say gamers no today we're continuing reapers and uh battle cruisers got my hydration water right here got my uh coffee right here bucket come on it's not a bucket guys come on a very nice cup if a turret houses an scv how doesn't it require supply depot that's what i said that's what i said as well if there's a scv in a turret rotating why is there no supply depot requirement go ahead boom i'll go even deeper by the way we can proxy uh, protoss we talked right, about this last time i can do up to two proxy racks against protoss oh, um that's that. That's that. what did i want to say Hey, 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 everybody, Let's my go. name is Carlos Matos, and I am coming oh. from New York City, New York. Not Let me news. tell you guys that I am Not so excited, news. I am so happy, I What's am really on? so thrilled yes, to be right be now. Thank you, Sandy. Thank you for that beautiful message. Job, um, so, go I'll go even farther than that, the right? Rear with the gear. Huh? Additional supply if a uh, turret has an SCV inside and does require supply, Right, which you know it should, right? But also, if a drone morphs into a spine crawler, doesn't he become the spine crawler himself? So why doesn't spine crawler require supply? The only one it does make sense is I think Protoss, but the other two races, I mean, I'm kind of seeing it, you know, kind of seeing it. A lot of people on YouTube, by the way, commented uh, that they're enjoying my childhood gaming stories. So I'll keep you guys in the loop with those. When some pop uh, pops in my mind, I'll uh, you know give you a little update. Insufficient Vespine gas. Oh, also remember the uh, the dog I told you guys about? I don't know if I talked about it on. Um, I don't know if I talked about it during any series, so people on YouTube might not know, but basically Mareka and I found a little dog outside and it was like scared and you can clearly see it's not a stray dog, it's like someone's dog. So we picked it up, uh, I gave it a little bath, we cleaned it up and we tried to track the uh, the owners. Uh, and we had it here for a day uh, while we were trying to track the owners. And. Um, the dog loves me and you know i i like the dog as well and you know but it was the weekend so you have to stay with us so you have to stay with us because it was the weekend and we couldn't take it to the vet to check its uh chip you know so we wait and then on monday I'm yeah, 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 yeah. So on Monday we went and we, you know, went to the vet and we checked, and uh, it turns out the dog has an owner. What's going on? Or went and went with a friend of hers, not me. And they were happy, and they were like, "Oh my God, it has the owner!" So they called the owners, and I kid you not, these shit stains, these. Dipshits to literally say, Oh, okay, and they're like, like You know, do you want the dog back? Yeah, like we found your dog, you know. And they're like, Oh, no, you can keep the dog. Imagine, imagine, shit owners, yeah. So apparently they got a dog for like a gift from someone uh, for one of their kids' birthdays. And I guess kids played enough with the dogs and now the owners are like a uh, CBA. Uh, the dog was, is like one year old. Um, and I was so tilted. Mareka was tilted uh, because people are dipshits for those people. Come on, come on. Give me the juice. Yeah. And uh, what can I say? What can I say? 
So then, they're like my sister, you know, because she she's with the animal shelter now. Let me give you DN. Thank you. What is wrong with these people? They're, I mean, they're terrible. They're terrible, terrible human beings. What can I say? So apparently they, they got the dog for like a gift for one of their kids and you know we're assuming the kids had enough fun and now the parents are like oh fuck it. So then my sister because she, work, she works with the animal shelter and all that so I you know tell her like you know what what do we what should we do and you know she asked me like is the dog well trained and I was like yeah it is like we knew the moment we got him in the apartment or her. Um, that it's a well-behaved dog and it's a nice dog and I was like it's super playful it's super cute it's a small dog I showed it on stream. Um, and she's like, well, we can probably get it adopted pretty easily. And, and I was like, great. And then because the dog is chipped, she had to call the owners and ask them to give up on the dog, like to sign that they're abandoning the dog basically. And I kid you not that bitch is like, oh, uh, yeah, we'll take the dog back. And, and my sister's like. What do you mean? Like, you said you're not gonna take it. And I'm like, oh, I guess we can take it back. But that's literally the way she was talking about it. And my sister's like, well, the dog ran away and like, you didn't care for it. Like, if you're not gonna care for the not dog, please, moves. you know, not resign the dog or whatever. Just give up on the dog and we'll get it, uh, you know, adopted somewhere. And this turd stain literally says, "Oh, but it's 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 ran away from uh, the house before. It always comes back though." And my sister's like, "How long has she been out?" And she's like, "Oh, since Sunday. This was on Monday. Since Sunday." And my sister's like, "What do you mean since Sunday?" Uh, my my brother found it on Saturday, and she's like, "Oh, last Sunday. The dog's been missing for a fucking week." Ned Dip shouldn't even bother looking for it for a week. And my sister's like furious. And then I, I, I can't. I'm getting tilted. And this person says, "Ah, oh, it's okay. We'll take it back, and we'll get someone to, uh, you know, to bring their dog, and we'll have little puppies and." You know, it's gonna be good. And my sister's like, balding at this point. She's like, what do you mean you're gonna... Why would you do that? And she's like... She's like, well, like, every dog should have puppies before it gets neutered. And my sister's like, you can't even keep one dog. What are you gonna do with the rest of them? And she's like, oh, we'll just give them away. It's fine, we'll just give them away. And my sister's like, please tell me where you're gonna give those dogs away. Because we have a shelter filled with dogs so we can do the same thing. The woman is like, oh, we'll find oh, people. Yeah. And I'm just like, we were all like AOE tilted, I'm by the way. AOE tilted. That shit person has more tilt AOE than a fucking disruptor. What a terrible person. Terrible, terrible. Human being. Imagine. Imagine. Can you imagine someone being that big of a pile of shit person? But it's not like, oh my, you know, we'll take the dog away. It's like, ah, ah, gosh, we can take it. Is he proxying me? Is he proxying himself? Please, 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 please. Big 
job, huh? Not enough. So, yeah, so right now, um, the dog is with Mreka's friend, and she really likes the dog, and she probably wants to take the dog, but we need the owners to give up on the dog. So my sister was like, okay, let's uh, just talk again tomorrow to the woman, so hopefully she gives up on the dog, because that dog will escape again, and they're not going to give a shit about it. When this happened a few days ago. By the way, all dogs deserve to be taken care of and loved, right? All of them. But let's say this was like some the terrible dog and it's biting everyone and it's attacking everyone, right? Let's say let's say this is the worst dog ever, right? And he, and the woman is like, no, 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 we don't want it, right? Right? And you're you're just a you're just a bad dog owner, right? Not enough. And you just you just can't deal with the dog. Like it's gotten to a point where it's aggressive, and you're like, we don't want the dog. Like, please give it to someone else. I would understand. This dog is literally yep. the sweetest dog. Not like, it looks at Not you, you call it, and it jumps at you, and just like, go ahead. just goes like, you know, wants the pets, and that that's all it wants. You know what I mean? It doesn't want anything else. It's like the sweetest dog. It doesn't like. Uh, yeah. Bite stuff, it, it doesn't, uh, it waits patiently for food, like it's super nice dog. And I was just like, man, not enough minerals. How are people this shit? Not enough minerals. Not enough so don't be a shitter. Uh, probably they're gonna uh, give birth to a few pups, then uh, send them all away. Um, sell them all away for profit? No, no, I get you, this is what's gonna happen. This is what's gonna happen, 100%. Um, they would take the dog back, assuming they don't lose it over the next, you know, week or two. They would get the dog to have puppies with another dog, and then they would kick out that dog, and then they would take one puppy, have it for like, you know, a little bit, and they would kick that dog away as well, because they're just dog shit people. Yes, sir. Bad news. Bad news. Go ahead. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Did I mention Good they're job. terrible by the way? With the gear. Bad news. So frustrating. What's going on? Ah, me. Not enough minerals. Not enough minerals. Base is under attack. Not enough minerals. Huh? Am I getting proxied? Am I getting protoss them in? Got something for me to kill. All right. Go ahead. Protoss oxy. Huh? Or Sam. Additional supply. Not enough minerals. On the yeah. way. Ah! You scared me. Big job, huh? Armed and ready. Where's... Go, go, go! What's going? Big job. This better be good. What's it worth? 
Got something for me to kill? players dude is this the same guy I just beat earlier lol it is I should have just proc -sure that this is why I need to proc -sure by the way because I cannot I can't win that it's literally impossible GG Kappa yeah G great game smiley face <clears throat> a happy ending yeah well we'll see I'll keep you guys updated If you were in the same situation without the Sears, what would be the play? Uh, Widow Mine into... Probably just continuously make Widow Mines and then get a Viking. Not enough. Uh, completely agree, 100% agree with Beastie Views on GG. If Not you have to do it, then it has no meaning, exactly. Like, imagine if there was a dude that never GG's, right? And then you beat him and he GG's, you're like, damn, dude. That was, wow. Dude, I beat, you know... Master Blaster 69 in a on? macro game, dude. Woo! Any type GG. You know what I mean? Uh, why didn't I proxy here? Um, I don't really know. Um, I GG for me. Helps me let it go, it's not for you. Well, that's fine. You can type uh, XD if you want at the end of your games. I am rude to Starbucks staff 346 days a year, but one day a year I'm really nice and it really makes their day. Well, if it's gonna ruin your day for me to type, uh, not type GG to you, then maybe you should uh, not go outside because otherwise you might melt. Imagine being, uh, what do you mean? It ruins your day for someone to not type GG in an online video game in 2021? What? Not enough minerals. What? Command center upgrade complete. Not enough minerals. Not enough minerals. What? Not enough My minerals. Not enough minerals. Mighty crazy one here. Yeah. Ah, you scared? Oh, got something for me to kill. Bad news. Get to above. What's going on? This better be. I can. Oh my god, I made a marine? I'm listening. Why did I make a marine? Not enough. Ah, yeah, I mean, I'm sorry, but if, if someone not typing GG ruins your day and you're comparing it to being rude to people IRL, then uh, maybe there's some uh, difference between IRL interactions and typing literally two letters in an online video game. Is Stalker gonna be able to reach me from there? Would you say it's important to say GG in a VR multiplayer game? Um, I don't know, I haven't played it. It's, it's uh, I don't really know what the interactions are in VR community. Yeah, baby, nothing I can't handle. Yeah, 
Big job. What's it work? Like, I'm not sure why people compare VR to video game. It's not the same thing. It's like comparing sports and GG. It's like comparing shaking hands and GG. Those are two different things. VR is VR. It's like if you're competing for some underwater yeah, breeding baby. shit, right? And I'm like, well, they touch their toes when they say GG, so you should touch your toes when you play a football game. It's like, what? So it's not even... What? You know? I don't think they're... I mean, I don't think they're the same thing at all. I think it's... Quite different, even. What's going on? Did you meet the guy in Dian already? Assuming, right? 
G G. I, I don't know, like, like, what is your guy? Uh, so the topic about GG and stuff, we discussed this a while back. Oh, a while back, like I don't know, two weeks ago, three weeks, uh, a month ago. I don't know. <clears throat> what is your guy's opinion on it? My opinion, uh, again, for the people that I'm in our discussion, is I don't care if people GG or not, right? It doesn't offend me, right? I'm not like, oh, I got disrespected, and the only reason I GG is because the it's a norm i don't really care right like if i get proxy rack proxy racks tier three racks and i just die gg stands for good game right and to me that wasn't a good game um nor do i have like someone i don't know like um whatever three racks three put me on ladder and i lost like i'm not like wow that guy deserves so much respect it's like i don't care right i'm not gonna flame him magic three playthrough but I don't care. Oh, please. Not love the streams, love the memes. Um, I'll answer that later. I don't care. And uh, basically, I think that the community over the years has pressured people into gg or your terrible person. Which I think that if you do think it was a good game or you feel like you want to type gg, you should. Right? If you want to do that, go Not for it. Minerals. But at the same Not time, I always thought that people who ah, don't don't GG for whatever What's reason they, they forget or they just didn't think it was a good game oh, or didn't respect their opponent, day. it's fine not to. You know? It's kinda like a legalized not GGing, right? Basically. Cause I think it's stupid. Like you're Bullying some for not GG because I, I still see sometimes in tournaments like a player would leave the game without GG and it's like I know those two guys are friends and I know he probably said like GG after the game but everyone's like oh he's he's pissed off he didn't GG wow it's like bro he probably just forgot or he just left you know what I mean like so what I'm saying is if you feel like GG go for it if you don't feel like feel like GG no one should mold at you for not GG. That's all I'm saying, right? So if people, because uh, I see this br being brought up, like if you feel better after writing GG, like you're letting go of the loss, I can see the the psychology uh, in that, right? Where uh, you you're letting go of your points, and that's fine. I'm just, and uh, you know, for whatever reason, maybe you're, I don't know, maybe you actually think it's a good game, maybe you don't. I'm saying that's fine. If you want to GG, GG. But I'm saying if someone doesn't, don't harass them for it. It's stupid. I know some people GG because they think that's well mannered. And that's okay. I just don't think it's uh, bad mannered if you don't GG. I think it. I think it's different in tournaments. I'll say that. Okay. I think it's different in tournaments. Because in tournaments, it's like a little bit more official, I guess. So it's more expected. And at this point, I feel like in tournaments, it's so... You're so used to it, that I do feel that it would be weird if a player would just leave without saying anything, right? Because, you know, the whole NG, G, you know what I mean? Like, kind of like a hype moment. So if players suddenly wouldn't GG, I think that'd be kind of awkward. Um, because a player typing GG in a tournament means the end of the game. In tournaments, right? So if a player types GG and then leaves, it kind of gives everyone like, a, you know, this is the ending kind of um, situation, right? On ladder, you don't really need that. Anyway, that's my opinion. You guys hear of an expression, opinion, having an opinion is like having a, 
What, what was it? Having an opinion is like having a butthole. No, having an opinion? Yeah, having an opinion is like having a butthole. Everyone has one. And it's true. Everyone does have one. Hashtag legalize uh, not the GG on ladder. Command center. There it is, I said it. Mine is here. Oh, okay, then. Thank you for that uh, information. Not enough minerals. Not enough minerals. Family, you hail? Oh, I'm eating that ass. <laughs> Bro, this skin that this guy has in his units, I can't fucking see how. Yeah, 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 yeah. One battle, battle cruiser operational. Listen, guys. If you're struggling in PvP, just do this. Like, if you're- I don't mean like Reapers, Battlecruisers, and Jet. If you're struggling in PvP, just do this. Like, I'm literally winning with one Battlecruiser. It ain't hard, Chief. Look at this. No macro needed. No micro needed. No keyboard needed. No mouse. Lol GG. We get about 10 to 15 to 20,000, sometimes million views on YouTube videos. Can we, can we please, guys, can we do something? Can we overrun the ladder with Battlecruiser rushes off of one base? Can we just do that every TVT so we can get away from this stupid ass Raven Viking, triple Raven shit? I find it disgusting, so I will do it. That is the proper attitude you need to have. What about making a ladder for a separate ladder for people who don't GG? <coughs> I like that. Listen, and also, guys, if you if you don't know how to play TVT, that is a great build for you. See that? I didn't do anything. I just clicked on a cyclone, then I clicked on a raven, and just ran around. Just do it. Whatever league you are, just do it. Another Protoss. Stuxnet Chaos, thanks so much for the 11 months. Says, uh, uh, what would it take for Heroes of Mighty Magic 3 playthrough? Pog, Pog, please, I love the stream, love the memes. Um, Heroes of Mighty Magic 3 is one of my favorite games ever. Um, I just don't know how good it would be to stream it. Because, um, I feel like some games are just bad for streaming. And I also think that. I might be wrong on this, so please correct me if I am. Is he cannon rushing me? Additional supply depots required. This is your plan. I can't build here. Yo, big job, huh? I might be wrong on this, but I feel like here's a Might and Magic community. It's such a tight knit community. It's probably gonna be a lot of backseating. Like, oh, why are you getting What's this? Get on? this. You're supposed to rush Go this. Ahead. So I'm kind of steering about that as well. It's good if you focus on the lore. Yay! I play video games for the lore, not for the, you know, video game gameplay. Listen, if you're a lore potato, I have uh, nothing against you, okay? Just stay the hell away from me. Roller Coaster Tycoon. Insufficient Vespine gas. Insufficient Vespine Not enough minerals. Not enough minerals. Go ahead. Is he gonna scout it? Big job. Yes, he is, Ritter. Yes, he is. Not enough minerals. Not enough minerals. Command center upgrade. Right. Certainly. What? You're the man. Yes, indeed. Oh, that's all done. Whole lot of pain. Got something for me. What's going on? I can't. On the way. What's it worth? What? What? What are you doing? 
Wait, where's this? Did you send the depth across the map? What's it worth? The Grim Reaper has arrived. What is this guy doing? He's literally throwing it again. about lore is just like anything in life it stems from your childhood or well, not anything but most things in your life it stems from your childhood I just thought about this while I was yeah giving a little slap to this guy when I was growing up I was playing strategy games right I st my, played my first strategy game when I was three no joke at three and because that's what my dad played so he, you know I was like, oh, I want to play that! In Serbian, of course. And um, when I was playing, because I was 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and so on years old, I didn't understand English. So I couldn't read what the fuck the lore is. I couldn't read what the characters are saying because I didn't understand English, right? So... Not enough news. So, because I don't understand English, or I didn't, my only focus was how to beat the level. So whenever I played a game and I lost, the only thing I could focus on is how do I win this, right? How do I beat this level? What do I gotta do? So then I was trying different stuff. And my mind for gaming got developed in a way that when I play a game, I'm instantly like, okay, how to optimize my hotkeys, how to optimize um, my stats, how to beat this level the fastest. Um, if I put this here, what's gonna happen? That's how I think. And that's why when I do like the reverse campaign, for example, I really like those missions because they make me think. Same thing with the series. The reason why I like doing the series is because they make me think, you know, they make me like, okay, I'm getting rinsed in this matchup. So what do I do to change it, you know? What do, I, what do I do to win? What do I need to adapt? Uh, what move do I gotta do? I'm limited with information and with resources, so I gotta find a way to use what I have to win. That's what I like, and that's what I grew up with. Now, other people that were... had a different experience, maybe you knew English, maybe whatever, maybe, I don't know, maybe it's not childhood, maybe you just like lore. Let's go! You grew up wanting to know more about the characters. Like, what am I gonna know about the characters when it says blah, 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 and I don't understand shit? The only thing I know is the character has blue hair. You know what I mean? So, what lore? What am I gonna connect with there? His hair? It's partly how you grew up, but also your personality. If you're a competitive person. Okay, sure. If you're also competitive, you're gonna be wanting to win and complete and stuff like that. I agree with that too. This guy Not didn't scout me, minerals. by the way. He's about to, Not uh... Enough minerals. Yep. Not enough minerals. Death from above. I'm the in the rear with the gear. Additional supply depots required. What's going on? Nothing. Got something for me. What? You... Ah, 
I'm listening. God, what? You want something? Not enough minerals. Some damage. I didn't do too much to be honest, but I am putting pressure on the Protoss. And even more important, the whole point of this is to not have Protoss just go blink and like just kill me. Uh, he opened Robo because he needed to defend against uh, Proxy. And uh... oh my god, I just alt tab. And um, he went Robo to try to defend against because he, he didn't know what kind of bunker rush it was, right? Maybe it could have been Marines, maybe it could have been Marauders even, right? So right now, he's in a position where I'm kind of liking, right? Oops. He has Robo, which, uh, well, guess what? Robo's not that great against uh, Battle Cruisers. Not enough energy. I'm gonna keep these Reapers. See, this is the most annoying part. This is like PvP, basically. When one opponent goes blink and he's threatening to counterattack, you can't just go across the map. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just keep these Reapers here, and I'm gonna just threaten counterattack every time he moves out. Bad news. Base is under attack. Can I kill these? Oh, there's a lot of stuff. Never mind. Who called in the fleet? Okay, he's getting a third, so this guy's playing super passive. Not Enough energy. Command center. 
I guess uh, Proto still wins. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, I don't know what I can do against that. <laughs> 